Hey, in this video I'm going to be going over how to make a door and when we interact with it, we can make it open and close. So first, we're going to create a blueprint actor. So I'm just going to call this my door actor and this is where we're going to create our door, which can open and close. So if we just go inside and then add component, you're going to select static mesh. And you want to select a door model. I just downloaded mine from Sketchfab. Any door or just block would work. And then we are going to create another static mesh. This is going to be the pivot of our door. So I'm just going to name this pivot. And then I'm just going to make this a square. And you want to make sure it's not attached to the other static mesh. And I'm just going to scale it down. And then we're going to attach the door to this pivot so that it can rotate like a normal door. So if you just drag it inside and when we rotate it, we can see that it turns and opens like a normal door because if we just select the static mesh it needs this pivot otherwise it won't like rotate properly so that's why we're just attaching that pivot there okay so next we're going to make this door rotate so after event begin play we are going to add a timeline so look for the add timeline and oops we just go inside and add a new float track and I'm gonna make this track one second as I found this is quite a good time you can adjust this time and we're gonna create two keyframes so first at time 0 we're going to have a value of 0 and at time 1 we're gonna have a value of uh, minus 90 as this is the way the door rotates so we'll be moving it on the x-axis so as you can see if I go on pivot you can see the Z key it moves to minus 90 so that's why we're just having it as a minus 90. I'm just going to put it back to 0. And if we just plug that in to play from start and we compile just to see that it works. See. Okay, I forgot to do uh, one step to make it rotate. So what we want to do is drag the pivot actor and then we want to set its relative location. Set relative location, and if we just split this structure and then we're going to attach it to the z axis, as this is the axis we want it to move on, and we just plug that in. And if we click compile, and if we simulate now, the door will rotate. Okay, so next, I'm just going to uh, replace this with a custom event as we're going to make our player be able to interact with this. So I'm going to call this uh, just open and close door. And this will be when we trigger this event, it's going to get our door to open. So after this, we're going to go like a flip flop. So the first time we do it, we're going to make this play from the start. And the second time we do it, we're going to make it reverse from end. And we compile. Now our door will open and close when we interact with it. So now we just need to make the interaction. So we go into the third person BP and we go inside. And in some free space. I want to make it the F key because when we press the F key it's going to make it open the door. So we click the F key. And when this is traced we're going to get a line trace by channel. So line, oops, line trace by channel and at the start, the start of the trace is going to be from our uh, actor so we get actor location and then the end trace. What we're going to do is we're going to get our actor location and add vector plus vector. We're going to get the control rotation so we can get the rotation that our character is looking at. So we get control rotation. We're going to get the forward vector. And then we're going to multiply this by float. Uh, I find like 700 works. I'm going to show you what this is so you can see it. And if we just plug this in and then try to plug this into the end. If we go to uh, draw debug type, if we go for duration, if we compile and press F, you'll see what we've just made. When we press F, we see this line trace and we can see its distance, so you can play around with it. And we're gonna make it when we interact with the door, it's gonna open. So on out, out of the hit, we're gonna break hit result and then scroll down. And on the hit actor, we're gonna drag off and just cast to our um, door actor that we just made. And from our door actor, 
we're gonna trigger our open slash closed custom event, which we just made. So open slash closed door. And if we just plug this in and compile. So now if we just place the door in the world and click play, when we interact and press F, we can see the door now opens. And when we hit it again, the door now closes when we hit it. So I just need to turn off the line trace, uh, so put it to none so we can't see the visibility of it anymore. And now when we press the F key, our door will open. And when we press it again, the F key will disappear. Uh, there's one more thing I forgot to do. So if you go to the pivot, you want to make sure that it's set to hidden in game so we don't see the pivot. Um, that's all. I'll see you next time.